Hello there and welcome back to my channel Juella. So I've got a slightly different type of video for you today. It's a jewellery haul. Now there's not loads here, there's only a few pieces but it's something brand new to me. It is a brand that I literally stumbled across while I was scrolling through Instagram one night and the little advert popped up which is bloody dangerous with me because that's how I've been buying lots of things lately anyway so yeah I stumbled across this advert looked amazing clicked on the link and what did I do click and bought so at first I only bought one item and then they had a Black Friday deal on and I went back and I bought a few more because they were half price it was a bit of a no-brainer <laughs> anyway so basically it's some silver rings guys it's just some silver rings and they're so so beautiful at least I think they're beautiful because I love me silver jewellery so they come in this lovely kind of rose gold jiffy bag and the brand is called Lephoria at least I think that's how you pronounce it Lephoria I'll show you the little postcard that you get inside the bag that way you can see hopefully what it looks like and how it's spelt. <laughs> so yeah, that's the brand. They do rings, they do bracelets and they do necklaces. I would say mainly it's about rings, as you can tell by the hand on the postcard. Absolutely love the bulk of the rings. Literally, if I was a millionaire, I think I'd probably buy all of the rings. <laughs> anyway, size-wise, they do a range of sizes, much like Pandora, very similar size into theirs. I tend to go with the larger sizes because I've got sausage fingers, I've got fat fingers. Maybe if I lose weight, maybe they'll slim down a little bit. In fact, I know they will because they weren't always big sausage fingers. Anyway, hopefully that'll give you a laugh. So yeah, basically I went online a couple of weeks ago and I bought one ring. So the first ring that I bought came in this beautiful little bag. And honestly, it's so, so cute. It's so pretty. It's a lovely little kind of velvet pink pouch. And it's got the brand on the front, Lephoria. It just looks really, really nice. It looks girly. It looks smart. It looks chic. It just looks beautiful. Now, the reason I went for this ring, which cost us, I think it was £26, I'm just going to remove another ring so I can show you it, is because it's my birthstone and it is turquoise. So I'm just going to show you the ring there. It's sterling silver and it's got a turquoise coloured stone in the middle. It's quite Celtic looking, quite Gaelic, quite Celtic, which is what I quite like. It's very boho. That's what I would describe it as, boho chic. It is very boho chic. Absolutely love me silver rings. Anyone who sometimes watches my videos, you'll often see us with silver jewellery on, because I love silver jewellery. So that was the first ring that I bought. I literally just took my Pandora ring off there, by the way. So that was the first one, and it cost, I think it was £26, and that wasn't in the sale or anything at the time. I literally paid full whack for it. I paid full price. £26 for a silver ring, I don't think it's that bad. Obviously you can get silver a little bit cheaper and you can get it more expensive. And it's I don't think it's a real turquoise stone, it's probably just a little bit of plastic. But it's lovely, I absolutely love it, I'm happy with it. So then I went online and saw the Cyber Black Friday deal. I was going to say Cyber Monday there. Then I saw the Black Friday deals and I got some more rings guys so I trekked myself to a few more rings and they came in this lovely bag again the same type of bag as the first bag it's just a bigger one but they all came in the same bag now within the bag they came in little individual organza bags instead of all the little velvet pouches but I've got one little velvet pouch and one bigger one they're beautiful so so pretty so the first one I've came across which I'm going to pop on my hand for you it's the one with the opal coloured stone. Similar design to the turquoise one. Really, really pretty. I absolutely love it. It's so, so nice. Ignore my big sausage fingers. <laughs> with these rings as well, if I don't want to wear them on a finger like that, I sometimes put them halfway down on that finger, which works really well for me. And they do tend to stay on. Whenever I shake my hand, they don't come off. And I can bend my finger all right as well. So that's the opal one. That one was half price, but I really don't remember what price it was. I honestly can't remember. And I don't know if I've got the little form in here. I'll have to have a little look. In fact, I'm going to have a look now. I was just trying to be careful not to show you my address. <laughs> Has it got the prices on? 
no it hasn't got the prices it just says the type of ring it is so the first one i showed you was the lana turquoise ring and that one i've just shown you is the caramel opal ring i think it's the caramel opal ring so the next ring because that literally was just a couple of rings that i bought the next one is a wishbone ring and i think it's the disco wishbone ring oh this is so pretty i love it it's just it's a little bit different and i'm hoping you'll think it's pretty like a little bit different you can use it as a stacking ring or you can wear it on its own i just think that's really really pretty i love it i don't think it's got any little stones in it's just kind of got little possibly little what do you call them i've forgotten the name of them cz's cubic zirconias possibly little tiny cubic zirconias in there but i can't really see them it might just be bits of silver made to look sparkly <clears throat> but it's a beautiful ring absolutely love it i couldn't think of the name there of the little stone little fake diamonds cubic zirconias and i wouldn't care i used to work for h samuel years and years and years ago but i didn't work for them for very long because it just wasn't really my thing feeling like you've got to kind of push jewelry on the people to buy i just didn't like doing it really didn't like doing it i think that people should only buy things if they want to buy them and if they want your help they'll come to you there's nothing worse than being in a store and having as soon as you go in having one of the assistants on you are you all right there is anything i can help you with nothing worse than that it just went against the grain for me so yeah that job didn't suit me very well but i loved the jewelry absolutely loved it so the final ring is another opal ring and this one is the Lauders, Lauders or Lauders, not really sure how you pronounce that. It's actually a little bit bent but I'll just keep it because it's fine and it's got little opal stones all the way around. As you can see I'm trying to twist it with my finger <laughs> but there's just little opal stones all the way around on that one. For some reason it's a bit wonky on my hand. <laughs> anyway this ring I think I'd be more tempted to wear as a thumb ring so I'll just take my Pandora one off and pop that one on and then I'll try to show you it again <laughs> but no doubts my camera won't let us anyway hopefully you can see that okay absolutely beautiful this was actually the most expensive ring even though it doesn't look like it was it really was Anyway, those final three rings that I showed you, this opal one, the disco wishbone and the other opal ring, I got all these half price with 50% off. Full price, they would have cost us about £100 for the three. So I think I ended up paying about £50 for those three. And then there was obviously the £26 for that one. So £75 up there or thereabouts for four rings, four silver rings, £25 a ring. Is that right? No, not £25 a ring because that would be £100. So yeah, basically £75 for four silver rings. My maths is shocking. Anyway, I'm sure you're all having a good laugh at us now. <laughs> anyway, yeah, absolutely love these rings. So, so pretty, so, so nice. I'm just going to pop my Pandora one back on though because otherwise I'll lose it. That's also got my birthstone in. That's supposed to be December turquoise, but it looks more like a sapphire to me. Anyway, right, I'm waffling. So, that site is called Laphoria. I do not get any like kind of royalties for telling you about this it's just something i wanted to share with you because i have been asked in the past to do a like a, a show of my jewelry which i promise i'll do i don't have much a lot of it's like costume jewelry like things like this which i believe i got when i was in my 20s from monsoon accessorize at the time it was called monsoon accessorize and now i think it's just accessorize anyway i think that's where i got that and this is like a shell a shell necklace and yeah, I love my silver jewellery. Absolutely love it. I don't have a lot, but I love my silver jewellery. Absolutely love it. It ends up all over the house though and then I get bits lost all the time. And then I come across them and I find them and I think, why did I put that there? Total scatterbrain. Anyway, so yeah, that is Laphoria. I really do recommend them. They are lovely, lovely rings. Comfortable as well, not particularly heavy and they do all kinds of sizes as well. Now, there is a code for 20% off, which I'm going to give you just in case anybody wants to use it. I'm assuming everybody's got the same codes. I'm just going to double check the packet here just in case there's only one code that like I can personally use in case I want any more. <laughs> and it's called Silver Lover for 20% off. 
So if you like any of these rings, if you go on the site and like any of the jewellery, if you type in silver lover into the discount code bar at the checkout, you should get 20% off and it's absolutely worth it. I mean, I think they're fairly reasonable anyway. Some things are more expensive than others, but yeah, I, I absolutely love them. Thrilled that I came across this site. Sometimes when you when you go on like social media and you come across these ads, it's so it's so dangerous. It really, really is. But that was a danger I was happy to kind of, you know, take up. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this haul from Laphoria. Like I say, totally new and different brand. I had never heard of them. Just wanted to share it with you all, so I hope you enjoyed. And I will catch you all again really, really soon. If you like silver jewellery, then like I say, pop on over to the site. If you like Pandora silver, then you'll probably really like this. If you like anything that's kind of boho chic silver wise, you will love these rings. Anyway, right, I'm going to get going because I'm waffling. I'm waffling, guys. It's actually quite a short video for me, 11 minutes. See, I'm doing well. I'm not nattering on too much. <laughs> anyway, right, I'm going to go before I start talking even more. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again really soon. Bye for now.